Welcome back, Love Stylers. I'm Misty. Today we're gonna to be talking about carnivore diet motivation and my one year journey. I have some tips that I've learned over the past year from doing a carnivore diet, losing 55 pounds, and trying to improve my life. We talk a lot on this channel about diets and improving your lifestyle a little bit at a time and pursuing your art. I'm just a struggling musician. I work a nine to five job and I recently in the last three years lost some weight going from keto to carnivore and here we are. Thank you for subscribing. I wanna say a special thanks to all my new subscribers. Um, this last video about my one year journey has gotten me some subscribers. I'm very excited. It's starting to move in the right direction where we can all start opening the conversation about carnivore, start improving our lives together, and I'm pumped about this. So thank you very much. Also check me out on Instagram. I wanna give a special shout out also to Carnivorous Beast. I'm gonna to try to find a picture here. Hey Beast, I can't find any regular images on Google, but I'm gonna take one from one of your thumbs. You are not here by accident, people. You came onto this channel because you wanna improve your body, your lifestyle, you're interested in carnivore. This is no mistake. So let's do this together. We are resonating at the same frequency right now. If we're talking about carnivore together, or you're interested in carnivore, you are ahead of 99% of the population. You wanna do something that actually works. Now keto works very well, but if you wanna even go the extra mile, get off your meds and really, really cure some things in your body, heal yourself, the carnivore diet is the way to go. Some people cannot do this forever. This diet is not for everyone. And I wanna say that you are the top 1% who believes in healing yourself. Misty, what do you eat? This carnivore diet sounds like so extreme. Well, I eat a lot of meat. That is the basis of this diet. You have to like meat. And if you don't like meat, you may want to experiment with different types of meat or seafood. A lot of carnivores have dairy. If you hear my carnivore kitty in the background, She's not gonna shut up, I know it. Be quiet, Starina. Chicken, pork, lamb, seafood. If you think this is a super restrictive diet, I'm gonna show you a picture of what I ate last night. It was our 14th anniversary. We got some snow crab legs. Here's a picture here. If this looks restrictive to you, think again. You can eat as much as you want, most of the time, of meat and seafood is included in that. So a typical week in our house here at Love Style, we stick with mostly carnivore meals. Now I am a 90% carnivore. Misty, what does that mean 90%? Starina knows what it means. That means you leave a little bit of room for some salad like I do. If I go out to eat to a restaurant, I might have some salad for a little more freshness in my diet. <laughs> You know, I have pickles sometimes with my bunless burgers and some dark chocolate and a couple other things trickled in here and there that are not strictly carnivore. That is the 10% keto that I practice. This is working well for me. I know some people get dogmatic about the carnivore diet, but I am not one of those people. So stick with me on this channel. I am going to allow you to be a human being. During this journey, let's do this together. And yes, I do cheat sometimes on my diet. So a typical week may look like, like Misty, what do you eat? I can't even figure this stuff out. Hamburger patties are our go-to meal with some bacon on there, maybe some blue cheese to make it fancy, some butter on the side. You know, a lot of people like to have ketchup with their bunless burgers. And it's like, well, there's a bunch of sugar in ketchup. Try some buffalo sauce. I don't think it has any carbs. 
So we'll try some buffalo sauce. Instead of ketchup, you can mix sour cream and some hot sauce together and you get almost like a Dijonais or mustard and sour cream together. It's very good. You can put a little garlic powder in there, salt and pepper, and you have your own sauce for your burger. This is very rich tasting. You feel full when you add a little bit of dairy to the carnivore diet. I don't think I could do this carnivore diet strictly beef and water. That's not me, not at this time. I may do an experiment later, but you wanna stick with meat, a little bit of dairy on the side. You can have eggs on this diet and you want your fats to be very limited to bacon grease. Cook with bacon grease, guys. It is very, very clean. It doesn't seem like it would be, but bacon grease is the best thing to cook with. Um, you might be wondering why you wouldn't use olive oil. There are some con there is some controversy about olive oil when it is heated, whether or not it is carcinogenic or not. I'm not gonna take the chance. You know, I'm gonna stick with some bacon grease to cook with. I cook with butter. And you can also cook with beef tallow, which is the drippings of hamburger meat or steak. When you cook it, you can use the drippings to cook with. So you may have to experiment here and see what kind of fats, go easy with the fats, see what kind of fats resonate with your body. Some other foods that we eat for meals, usually during the week or even on the weekend, hot wings. So, so far we have bunless burgers. Who doesn't like burgers? We have hot wings, burgers and hot wings. Misty, I think I'm gonna love this diet. Hot wings, eat a pile of them. They have collagen, which is a big thing for health. Um, hair, skin, nails, and teeth. You know, collagen is great for the body in so many ways, and a great way to get it is to eat a big pile of hot wings. You know, a lot of people allow hot sauce and buffalo sauce on this diet that's technically a plant because it's made of peppers, but Again, these are little things that aren't gonna trip you up most of the time. Another food that we like quite a bit in our households on the carnivore diet 90% is ribs, pork ribs. Just put some dry rub on there, you know. If you're confused about what seasonings you could use, a lot of people experiment with seasonings, that's up to you. When you start the carnivore diet, if you've been on it for a little while, you start to become sensitive to some seasoning. This is kind of a side note. I say experiment with the seasoning and see how you do. And I have a suggestion later in this video for a solution to that. But pork ribs, put some buffalo sauce on top. You want to stay away from barbecue, no barbecue sauce. This may kick you out of ketosis. There's a lot of sugar and barbecue sauce. We're not doing sugar on this diet. In a moment, I'm gonna go over what not to consume. So chicken is part of the meat family. You can have chicken breast. It does not have the nutrients that chicken on the bone has with the collagen in there. So if we have chicken breast in my house, which we do occasionally, I like to make a nice Alfredo sauce. You know, I'm gonna put a list here of a weekday meal plan if you don't know where to begin, or if you're looking for new ideas, let's put it here. Andrew, he's my tech. So we're gonna put this list here and leave it there for a second. Maybe you can screenshot this as some weekday meal ideas. You know, and the go-to on carnivore is steak. Who doesn't like a diet where you can eat steak every night? I do, but I'll tell you what, you don't have to get the expensive steak. See what's on sale. Steak tastes good all the time. To me, it doesn't even matter if it's a filet or a ribeye. Ribeye does have more fat in it. And a lot of carnivores are relying on that fat to keep them feeling satiated. And it does help with us women to keep our hormones in check 
to make sure our fats are up a bit. So you may have to experiment with the different kinds of steak. And let's not forget Old Faithful bacon and eggs. Sometimes you can throw in some ham and eggs. And eggs are a staple on this diet. They have so many nutrients in an egg yolk. Um, it's like a multivitamin on its own. If you don't have meat in your house, just throw some eggs on the pan, however you like to eat them. So eating a lot of eggs helps a lot of people. Some people are sensitive to egg whites and therefore some just cook the yolks and the yolks are where most of the nutrients are in an egg. So when it comes to quality, it's like, Misty, do I have to buy grass-fed beef? Now, if you can afford to get humanely raised products, I say go for it. It's better for your system. Um, I don't have a lot of details other than that. It's more pure. It's like buying organic is better than buying regular food. When you can afford it, you can afford it. But this should not stop you. Please don't let this stop you from starting the carnivore diet. I've been doing this a year and I have not been able to afford to buy humanely raised products all of the time. Now, when we can afford it in my household, like I said, I have a regular job and I'm trying to pursue my art on the side and I don't have a lot of extra money for a lot of fancy food. If you stop going out to eat, this will help quite a bit too. This can be an affordable diet. You can check out my video right here for doing carnivore on a budget. It's very, very affordable. I don't want you to get scared off thinking you have to have everything perfect. This diet is not for perfect human beings. Let's talk a minute about what you should not consume on the carnivore diet. I feel like this is obvious. If you know anything about low carb, you probably have done some research, but I'm gonna just rattle it off in case you stumbled across my channel here and want to know some basic stuff. Let's just cover it really quickly. No candy, no bread, no pasta, no rice, no cereal, no sugar is what we're getting at. And you want to get all of that out of your house. No cookies, muffins, bagels, no chips. It's like, Misty, you just named like half of my diet. That's like my favorite foods. And they were mine as well. No ice cream. We are taking away sugar from our life. We are taking away carbs and starchy things from our life. We're getting rid of it. Take it out of your house, donate it, throw it in the garbage, whatever you have to do. It is so much easier, and I can tell you this from my own experience of doing this for a year. It is so much easier to just get it out of the house because you're gonna have some weak moments and you may have some cravings. You know, a lot of people experience cravings when they're changing the way they eat to low carb in any form. And that is the case for most people who try the carnivore diet as well. So we're getting rid of the junk food out of our lives. No packaged foods. And this last one, which you will hate, is gonna be drinks. Let's talk about drinks for a minute. You can have coffee. You can have tea. You cannot have soda on this diet. You may click off right now and I'm sorry to see you go. I have a video here and I have to mention it and I hate to keep putting up videos that you should watch. It's about soda and it's a great video and I had a lot of fun making that video. But I feel very, very strongly about the fact that you should not be drinking your calories and your sugar. And that includes sweeteners. Now I'm not totally against sweeteners, couple of drops of stevia, liquid stevia, maybe in a treat here and there, or some dessert, some keto dessert here and there, which I do allow. But I'm talking about everyday drinks. In a day, you cannot do well, as well, on this diet, 
If you are drinking diet soda, soda, Gatorade Zero, these kind of drinks, Crystal Lights, all of the things that they say are low carb and okay for you are not okay for you. I'm going to stand strong about this on my channel. And I really hope I have your understanding here, but I really feel strongly you have to make water your friend. Make water part of your health regime from here on out in your life. This will make a huge difference. It's probably 30 or 40 percent of your health if I had to give it a number. Now I have no stats on that. That's my own number. Drink water. Just accept the fact that water is going to be, you know, we're 90 percent water or something like that, right guys? Water is going to be your drink from now on. Even if you have to slowly take away the soda or the Gatorade or the diet soda or the energy drinks with the sweeteners in it, which are not good for you. Look at the list of chemicals, colors, dyes, who knows what else? Some caffeine, you don't need extra caffeine. Water has no ingredients. Excuse me, it has one ingredient, water. That is one thing they got right when they told us about health all this time compared to all the other lies. They were right about the water. I say try to get seven glasses in, seven cups even, in a day. Let's say you have three Gatorades or three diet sodas in a day. Move it down to two and have a water and you'll start feeling better to where you'll get rid of the rest. And this will happen naturally because you'll feel so good. And I just want to mention, of course, you don't want desserts in your house. This goes back with the sugar. It's probably obvious, Misty. No kidding. But I want to mention this other thing very quickly about alcohol. If you are drinking alcohol, and you are trying to diet and you actually want to get somewhere with this. If you actually want to start becoming healthier, I say lose the booze, try it out for a month, try it out for one weekend if that's where you need to start. I used to drink myself. I gave that up three years ago and I have some videos on that, but I'm going to stop showing videos. I used to drink, I gave that up when I started dieting, going low carb three years ago, wine, beer, and booze. Alcohol is bad for you. It's concentrated sugar. It doesn't work if you drink alcohol. If you want to have a drink three times a year for those holidays, New Year's Eve, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, and maybe your birthday, that's a different thing. That is called a cheat or an allow. And we'll talk about that later, but alcohol is not going to help you people and just start accepting it. Just like you're going to accept that water is going to be your drink from now on. So quickly, I want to go through my trifectas. All good things come in threes. My first trifecta is meat, dairy, and eggs. Basing your diet mostly on that foundation will help you quite a bit. So that's my first trifecta. My second trifecta is salt, water, and sleep. You want pink salt in your life. I say this a lot because I feel very strongly about it. It has the electrolytes that you need, the most vital ones. So you want to include pink salt, pink Himalayan salt. Don't be afraid to salt your food to taste. Too little is not good and too much is not good. Try to come somewhere in the middle. Let's talk about water. We've already covered that. Get your seven cups in and sleep. Of course, try to get seven hours. I'm not great at this. I come close. Sometimes I'm in the six range, but when I get seven hours of sleep, I feel very, very balanced the next day and you will stay more on track when you feel balanced in your body. And my third trifecta, because I love talking about things in threes, are the three B's, butter, bacon fat, and beef tallow. So these are the fats that you can cook with. I know it gets very confusing. Should I use olive oil, Misty? Because that's a plant. We don't know about the olive oil. 
and cooking it up to a high temperature may be carcinogenic. This is a new theory that's out there. There could be some truth to it. I'm going to play it safe. And I have been consuming olive oil in the last year, but I've recently taken that back and replaced it with bacon fat. And I love how it's making me feel. So the three fats you want to cook with are those to play it safe, to do your best on this diet. You want to be successful. You want to get off your meds. You want great hair, skin, nails, and teeth, and you want to lose weight. We didn't really talk about it that much, but you will lose size. I say put the scale up. That is the weight scale that you stand on to see how much you weight. Put that up for a while because there is an adaptation period at the beginning of the carnivore diet where you may have to adjust for a month or so. And that may trip you up if you weigh yourself every day. Maybe just put that whole idea away because you're healing. You want to start from the inside out. You know, when you heal your body, you will lose weight much faster. You recover from exercise faster. You have no or very little pain where you have had it before a lot of times. And people are just healing themselves from the inside out. Let's heal. Thank you also for listening to Black Eyed Soul. That's our band. My husband and I are musicians. We record upstairs. And we're setting up mics right now for the next album. We set up drum mics last night. And our new album just dropped. And it should be out within a week here or so. We're going to do some giveaways. Keep tuning in for more information on the carnivore diet. That's what we're talking about right now. Some lifestyle stuff, some music stuff. If you'd like any questions you may have, hit me up. And we have new shows every Monday, unless we're on vacay or something like that. But we're going to see you every Monday. And thank you for tuning in to Love Style. Peace, start today, and out.